Hello and welcome to the Dwarf Says Workshop. When I bought my table saw, it came with this push stick made out of plastic that is not really helpful. I mean, it is better than nothing, but it really doesn't apply much force down on the wood with that little front lip. So today, we are going to make a really useful push stick. of hardwood scraps that I bought on eBay a while ago, took a bunch of strips and sawed them all to the same width, so I could then glue them together to make unnecessary complicated plywood. Really, you can use any decent wood that you have at hand for this. I removed any leftover glue with some quick passes through the thickness planer and sanded the piece up to 120 grit. This is still a tool, so no need to get out the 300 grit pads. The outline of the stick was inspired by two great designs. The front lip and handle come from Drew Fisher of Fisher's shop and the adjustable dowel in the back was originally featured in the HTPE push stick video by Brothers Make. This would have been an easy job for a bandsaw, if I had one. But the jigsaw worked very well and the smaller cutouts could be done with a Japanese pull saw and a bit of chiseling as well. to the oscillating sander and used various spindle sizes for refinement. I used the router, a round over bit and another round of light sanding for the finishing touches. Now let's destroy this fine laminate. A hole in the back, two holes from one side to the other and another hole into the bottom of the stick. All those holes are necessary for various features of the push stick that I will explain in a minute.
first obvious feature is the front lip that pushes the wood through the plate horizontally while my left hand provides downward pressure. This works with pieces wide enough so that my left hand keeps its distance from the plate. Smaller pieces can benefit from the second feature of the push stick. The adjustable dowel in the back pushes the wood forward while the stick itself applies downward pressure. This works fine as long as the push stick fits right through the plate and the fence. When the space between the blade and the fence is too narrow, we can either saw into our push stick or use a sacrificial board that gets destroyed but can be swapped easily. the board might get an uneven bottom. We then can just take a new board, mark the dowel positions with the two side holes on our stick and drill them out. And we are ready to go again. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you want to get notified when more of my content comes out. In the meantime, you can watch more of my woodworking videos here. See you next time!